Uh, I'm Khalid Saifullah. I work at Qadi Azam University, Islamabad. And there I teach uh, different subjects in, in mathematics and related to, to physics. Uh, my research work uh, can be divided into two parts. One we can call as uh, uh, physical mathematics. So, it's the mathematics uh, developed for its application in physics like uh, differential geometry, Riemannian geometry, Lie groups, Lie algebras and so on. And the other part is, is mathematical physics. So, it's the, the mathematics that is developed, f uh, that is applied to, uh, to general relativity and black holes and, and other areas in physics. So, as far as the status of mathematics in Pakistan is concerned, uh, I would say that uh, there are two contrasting situations. Uh, when we see, for example, at elementary level or high school level, the students perform very well. They are very good at mathematics, they've got talent. And uh, I've seen them performing either in other countries, for example, in the UK and USA, and, and I, I've, I've seen, seen that they perform very well. In fact, uh, the, some of them are ahead of their classes. But when it comes to the university education and research, uh, the situation, this, this ability and talent is not reflected there. Uh, in my opinion, one of the main reasons is that uh, like many other places in the world, Pakistan, in Pakistan we've also fallen prey to this number game. Uh, that is, we, the, the professors and researchers there are judged by these two, three numbers. Uh, like uh, the number of publications, your impact factor, your citations, and so on. Uh, these uh, numbers, these metrics actually started off uh, as, as, as good measures, but as t uh, with the passage of time, they no longer serve the purpose they, they were created for. Uh, what happened is that these numbers themselves have become the target. And it is well known that when uh, the, the, the measure becomes a target, then it uh, loses its ability to, to, to judge, to measure the thing it was created for. So now it no longer uh, uh, judges the, the quality of the work. So this uh, area of uh, intellectual activity and creativity has become something like a game of angry birds where you, you, you strive to, to score high in, 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 in on these numbers. So, so I think that is uh, detrimental to the progress of, uh, of mathematics, the real growth of mathematics, where we no longer focus on main issues, but our main concern is, is how to achieve high, uh, high scores on, on these numbers. And uh, because these are the numbers on the basis of which our work and uh, uh, the researchers and professors are judged. This SIMPA ICTP fellowship, I think, is extremely useful, uh, particular for, for people coming from the developing countries. This uh, provides them with an opportunity to, to come to the developed countries and uh, to, to learn from the experts over there to know what are the main questions, what are the main uh, issues, the significant questions uh, uh, of their own field. And uh, I think this was the main idea behind the creation of the, this, uh, the ICTP when Professor Abdul Salam conceived this idea. Uh, his main goal was to bring people out of their isolation in, 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 in the developing countries and to provide them with an opportunity to work in an international environment. And many of the activities of SIMPO also, also revolve around this idea. Uh, they, they provide opportunity to people from, from developing countries and less privileged uh, places to, to take part in, uh, in, in, in these activities. Uh, as a student also, I participated in some of the activities organized by SIMPO and I found them extremely useful. Uh, I, I, the one thing I liked w very much was th that they, they did not only consist of lectures, but actually there were some, some hands-on activities, some exercises uh, after the lectures also. 
now as a student i did not like to do those assignments and th things like that but later i i, I realized that they are very important part of learning uh, so the, uh, i'm i'm uh, i'm grateful to simpa and ictp for providing me with this opportunity and uh, uh, the, the, these are uh, this uh, is, is a great opportunity for people from from countries like pakistan <laughs>